Uh, my name is Darice Walker. Um, I'm an artist based in Brooklyn. I was born in Manhattan, Kansas, but I uh, grew up mostly in Colorado, Colorado Springs, and uh, Nebraska. I went to college in Colorado in undergrad at the University of Colorado in Colorado Springs and UCCS. And uh, I got my graduate degree, my master's degree in fine arts at the School of Visual Arts in New York City, New York uh, in 2016. So the work that I create primarily uh, is created from cardboard. Most people would know me from that work. Um, but others might know some work that I have on uh, vinyl. It's a, a white um, advertising sort of banner material, indoor outdoor signage material. I also do work with found objects. I typically make work that is political in undertones or directly, but um, often is a reaction or response to socio-political um, situations um, that involve Black Americans. The reason I use cardboard uh, initially was for its color. I was really drawn by uh, a drawing material that wasn't white paper. I wanted a sort of substrate that happened to be brown like the figures I was drawing instead of uh, the white paper. I started to think about cardboard as a protest material and also uh, associations with cardboard being considered low quality, uh, easily replaceable, um, being considered, um, you know, it's not a, a material that's found everywhere. I saw it being used in actual protests um, in marches where they would have names and pictures of some of the fallen people from police brutality and or um, you know martyrs of the struggle in one body of work called criminalized which was a cardboard work that um, was pretty much rough around the edges so it didn't none of those pieces were a square they all were sort of like torn cardboard edged um, those pieces the first three were anonymous individuals but then after that um, I decided to focus on uh, key moments in real life that I thought expressed um, police brutality and especially the uh, circumstances that lead to punishment or lack thereof sort of express or communicate a type of worth of, I guess, Black life or, or what that, what consequences are for, for a Black person dying versus what they, they might call um, an average citizen because it, it seems a lot of times rules are changed. The crux of why there's complaints about police brutality is because it's unnecessary violence. Um, you know, people in the world, especially here, you know, we understand that, um, you know, um, if violence is necessary to defend yourself, especially as a police officer, you should. Um, but um, unnecessary is like just the, the stories that are age old, like, um, Amadou Diallo getting shot on his doorstep, you know, by plainclothes police officers, and they all unloaded their clips. You know, it's just it's just sad. So like I tried to bring attention to situations like that. Um, but you know, in other works, it's more about uh, the scenario. So I use uh, a black male or female as the the figure. They're not all particular people, but I do always try to have a message that pertains to. Um, I guess, how it feels to be Black in America. Black Fathers Matter is a series that um, I began a journey on in 2019. Um, it started with a spark of interest where I just began taking photographs of Black people around the tri-state area. And um, what stood out were interactions of fathers, Black fathers with their kids. Um, as an only child to a single mother, um, my relationship with my father came up in my mind and um, how that lack of father figure um, meant that these moments I was inspired by were moments that I never had. 
was sort of about celebrating the courage and strength these fathers have to create these memories and um, debunking stereotypes that are persistent in, in terms of Black fathers not being present. I'm kind of fighting for a type of representation in the art world that um, I feel is lacking and uh, that I can help fill the void.